Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on image classification using TensorFlow. In the previous part, we understood how to load image data using image data generator and use data augmentation as well. In this section, we will learn how to develop a CNN model using two methods, model class and sequential class. So let's first look into the documentation of model class. Here in the model class, you create a model using tf.keras.model and it will take inputs and outputs. So there is a small example here as well. So this is the input. You provide the shape of the input followed by the numbers of different layer you want and then there will be an output layer and you provide the input and outputs into this model class and it will create a model. Now there is one more sequential so this sequential API you provide list of layers layers will be list I'm sure yes optional list of layers to add to the model so you create a model using tf.keras.sequential so you add different layers that you want into the sequential list of layers and then you get the model you don't have to explicitly provide inputs and outputs here but your first layer should be your input layer and your last layer should be your output layer so i hope you are wondering why there are two different ways to create a model so let me show you something with this model you can create a model where you know you can have different or multiple inputs let's say two or three inputs and you then the inputs will be the list of the inputs you want you can concatenate them you can add them subtract them whatever you want to do with these inputs you can do it you can you know channel these inputs into different layer and then concatenate or add or whatever action you want to perform and then you can develop the model so with tf.keras.model if you want to create two input neural network example let me see here if we get this straight yeah so this is the example so let's say you have two input input a and input b with different shapes you process input a in a different way input b in a different way and then you combine the input processed input a and b into one layer and then you move forward to your output layer and you can create the model using input list of inputs so this is the difference between sequential and model class to develop a model so let's look into the code section so let me first import tensorflow now i have created an input layer a convolution layer a global average pulling layer then flattening the output of this global average pulling and then using a dense layer and with softmax activation function for our output provided into model class it will provide the model we will compile the model with optimizer loss and matrices matrices can be a list of different matrix that you want so let me run this it will show the summary as well so you can see we have input layer convolution global average pulling flatten and dense now let's develop the same model using sequential here i have used a list to you know uh, provide my layers but you can use model dot add as well so again these are the same layer input layer convolution pulling flatten and dense for output we will compile the model 
let me run this section you can see we have the model you can see the difference here we have input layer here but we don't have the input layer here in the summary so this is the two way you can develop a cnn model or you can develop any artificial neural network model what you need is the correct and right layers for your model so i hope you got the idea how to create a model in the next section we will train the model developed in this part from model class and from sequential class so see you in the next part of the video series if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps peace